just understanding the process of, you know, being DFA'd and comments like that. Can you just explain to everyone kind of what that means, what that entails? Yeah. I mean, it's basically this time of year, it's just a waiting period. Uh, if you get, go through waivers, um, which is about 48 hours, I think teams have to go to their computer and click yes or no on your name. Um, and so, uh, third time this year, it is what it is, but I mean, it's part of the process, right? Like, um, multiple roles this season, um, just kind of ever changing, um, landscape for myself. And so, uh, happy for, I'm happy for the Orioles right now. First, let's, let's get that off my chest and love seeing them celebrate in Yankee stadium. That's, uh, always a good feeling. Um, but also a little little hard to watch for myself because I helped help the team all year. Um, but when you're DFA'd um, twins, I mean, I spent a week there and had a great time. A bunch of good people over there. Um, it's very hard for me to dislike people in situations, but uh, they got a good thing over there in Minnesota, so maybe they can squeak it out too. But um, enjoy my time, my week over there. <laughs> At least I, got to play with, I got to play with some dogs on Tuesday morning. So that was great. Oh, yeah, that's a <laughs> Hell yeah. Trip. So yeah. <laughs> got that in. I mean, that, and for those that don't know, and they probably do know is all your, your community work, especially with the bark shelter in Baltimore there. Uh, you're always trying to give back. And I, I, I appreciate you get, explaining the, the process. I know I could have done that, but I wanted people to hear it from you just because this is the business part, but you have the business part, which you understand. But you also have the emotional part mm -hmm. where you're like, all right, this this stinks. This sucks. And I know yeah. for you with with Baltimore, when we've talked off air, I know you love being here. You know, mm -hmm. I, I know you really enjoyed and embraced. And for people that still don't remember, I mean, you were helping bring that fun culture last year with the bird bath and embracing this community. Um, but I know it's bittersweet that uh, that this that this this moment for the Orioles uh, that they were able to clinch yesterday. But you would know better than everyone, Cole. Uh, did the Orioles ever, when you were there, just out of curiosity, or it might be a rhetorical question, did they ever give up during the season? <laughs> <laughs> because all I've heard, all I've heard. The season ended in July. That the season was, was done over. about three months ago. Yeah, no. I mean, I, I think we all knew that we just needed to get Jordan Westberg back in there. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we did. He – he is just a broken record. He keeps that offense uh, pumping, Defense you know, too. top to bottom. He's mm -hmm. he's unbelievable. So, yeah, I think it just hurt a little bit to not have uh, Jordan Westberg in the lineup. Um, but all in all, like the team, there was no doubt that we were going to be in this position. Um, there was zero. So it was just trying to get there. I think that was the hardest part was just like, we were going through it. We were so close. We just had to take care of business. And then it just, it just, it just happened that way. Right. Like it was, it was just kind of, uh, trying to get to the chance to clinch a postseason berth mm -hmm. is a lot harder when you're in the trenches, grinding through it, not playing your best baseball, trying to create momentum, all of that being included. There was no give up. There was none of that. So wait, it was just like all, too many hard, I guess kind of a hard thing to do. Baseball is pretty hard, right? Yeah. Hard. You fail more than you succeed. Yeah. Weird. You don't, say. you don't say it's crazy. You fail seven out of every time you go to that plate, you're probably going to the hall of fame. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny this year. I started looking at batting averages just from a percentage standpoint. And I'm just yeah. like, Oh, he only gets on 24%, 24%. Mm -hmm. and it's just like, you think about it that way. And it's like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's, that's wild. People see guys that are batting like three ten, three fifteen, 15. And they assume that, Oh, they're going to get on every single time. It's like, no, that means he gets on 31% of the time. That does mm -hmm. not mean he's guaranteed to get on. Yeah. Baseball's hard. Yeah. Aaron judge is having a ridiculous, <laughs> one of the best seasons again for a player. And what is his batting average is 323. So 32% of the time he's getting on base via a hit. Mm -hmm. It's so damn hard, Cole. But I'm just glad you mentioned that because I think it's just always perspective, right? It's perspective of how much time and effort goes in. It's perspective on I, – I told people this last year – or actually, sorry, this year about last year's team. 
I really felt like the Baltimore Orioles at 23 was kind of like a fairy tale in some cases where I go, that's not a proper way to describe a 162, right? Like any game right. that you fell behind, you won. Any one-run game, stop traffic, you came back and you pulled it out, right? So uh, this year was the first time it was truly a lot of adversity. 